Through our KTEC operations, we have tremendous engine testing capabilities. This capability allows us to test combustion, so we're able to validate the combustion bowl design, we're able to validate the performance of the combustion system in the engine. It allows us to validate mechanical durability of the engine, so we're able to validate from a mechanical level how robust the rotating components are, how robust the actual engine structure is. It allows us to validate the emissions of the engine, so the external tailpipe exhaust gases, we're able to take those, analyze them, determine how much soot, knocks, that kind of stuff. Um, and they also allow us to validate the fuel economy and the fuel performance of the engine. Having this capability in-house allows us to tremendously reduce the time it takes to develop an engine and also the cost that it takes to develop an engine. We're able to fast track the build process, the engine installation process, and the testing process. It allows us to cut the middleman out. We don't have to wait for somebody to process the data. We have the data, we just streamline it to the engineers. It's important for data security. We've had instances in the past where we've had questionable data. Now it isn't questionable. We know exactly where it was taken from, what the sensor was, and we're able to come back and take a look at that. A lot of the technicians here have been doing this for 20, 30 years. They've got a lot of experience measuring using data acquisition systems. They've got a lot of experience doing testing on engines. This facility is also important because we're able to bring our design engineers directly to the cell and they can see the part and they can see what the part is doing, the operating environment that it is going to be in, and ultimately whether or not it does what they designed it to do. So we've just installed an OPOC engine in the test cell. We're actually in the process of firing it up and going through the break-in cycle for that engine. So let's take a closer look. Here we are at test cell three. We're going to break in a diesel OPOC engine. Let's get started. Ready? Three, two, one, cranking. So this screen in the center here, we have engine speed in the top left, we have engine power in the top center, engine torque in the top right. Oil pressure, oil temperatures, oil jet pressure, coolant temperatures, fuel pressure, and oil level for our dry sub tank. Those are the only items on this computer screen that we're using. The power is reading zero because we have we do not have dyno water enabled. So as soon as we enable dyno water, the power will increase, the torque will increase because we'll actually have a load on the engine. The screens above me, the screen on the left has input speeds, flows, pressure ratios, fuel pressures, low speed temperatures, again flow, just the various channels that we're monitoring throughout the engine. The screen that is to the upper right of me, we have high speed combustion data. We have cylinder pressure traces here in the center. We have cylinder one, cylinder two. Down here we have injection traces. Here we have PV diagrams. This is the crankcase pressure. And right here are all the various pressures of the intake manifold and the exhaust system. This is high speed data, real time, high rate of frequency for the update. It's absolutely critical to have this capability in-house to develop the OPOC engine with the least amount of time and cost possible. The cutting edge OPOC engine.